Alright, so what's good with this, y'all? It's your boy Shootie15 back with another video. And by the time you already seen the first video, you're gonna be like, why are you wearing the same fit? That's because it's a double upload. As y'all know, I picked this shoe up in New York on 644 Broadway. That is the Nike Kiss store right here. This shoe was first released back in 2010. The reason it's being re released is to celebrate the 20th year of the shoe silhouette. Hooray for 20 years. The foam posit was a shoe made by Nike for Penny Hardaway when he played on the Orlando Magic with Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, the foam posit was an iconic shoe when it first came out. Everyone loved it. It was a great, great silhouette for Nike and for Penny himself. However, Penny did go away from the foam posit itself and started went on his own silhouette, but the shoe is still around today. Overall, foams are a great shoe. However, the price. The price is the reason foams still sit in stores. So if you go to your local Foot Locker, if you go to your local Champs, etc., you'll still see them sitting. That's because they're priced at two hundred and thirty dollars, two hundred fifty plus after re after tax. It's just if I had, if I could say one thing that they could change about this shoe, it would just be the price. Overall, it's a great stylish shoe. It's just the price is so steep and it puts a hole in your wallet and it's like dang. I can't buy another pair of this. I can't go get some clothes after this. Because once you buy this, this should be your last option. If you're going to the mall and you think about getting these, look around first. And then if you can't find anything, come back to these. Just because one, they sit. So you have no one to, you have nothing to worry about people taking them. Two, these are so much, this, this shoe is quarter of a thousand dollars. So I mean, you just have to be smart about your investment. So, you just gotta, because once you buy this shoe, you're not, unless you big balling, then you're not gonna buy anything else at the mall that day, that week, probably the rest of the month, because it's a $250 shoe. Just be careful, just be smart about your money and how you how you plan to get this shoe. But that's the one thing I would have to change is the price range on this shoe. However, if they were to go back down to the price that Jordans are today, which are 190, I believe foams will would sell out and you wouldn't have a lot of pairs sitting, but that's just the world we live in to where you see phones when you walk in wherever. So that means you can still get them whenever uh, some sites will have them on sale. So like right now there's a site, I believe it's Kicks USA. Kicks USA is having these on sale for 190. I'll link that in the description. Make sure you check my last video because that will be in the description as well. These are being sold for 190. So if you want that pair and want to pay the retro Jordan price, you can go ahead and do that there. Also, when I first bought these shoes, I opened the box and it smelled like nail polish remover. That's just because the finish is like the shine and the finish to make sure that it doesn't fade away. So that doesn't mean your shoes defected, etc. That just means it's prote it's protected, and that's what all that smell is is to protect this from damage. Moving on the sizing, if you were to pick up the foam posit, I would say go half a size up. I stuck to my original size and my toes aren't crammed but I would rather prefer the 12 and a half because the foam posits right here on the toe box is more narrow compared to most shoes. So you won't have that toe wiggle room, but if you go up half a size, I ensure that you will have more comfort, etc. However, if you like to enjoy your foams loose like this, like I do, and like not tie them and just relax in them, then stick to your original size to where your heel doesn't come out of the back. On the side here, you got your carbon fiber panel and on the bottom you got your icy blue soles. The best part about foam posits in my opinion is the yellowing. So when they're yellow, it shows wear, which is awesome. It's just like the Air Jordan 1. The more beat they get, it seems like the more attractive they are. So the more yellow this gets, the more like, whoa, those are like fresh. It is because honestly, this shoe, the upper is amazing. Just with this icy blue sole, it's just kind of like, uh, if it was black, okay, I can live with it. It was like if somewhat more clear, that would have been even better. But just because it's that standout blue, it's alright. I can live with it, but I'd rather have the black or maybe even a little bit aged, in my opinion. Up early. FaceTime Nate. Yo. Uh, did you get my tweet? Did, did you get it? Yeah, I'm on Shoe Palace right now trying to get them. Do you think, do you think those are going to sell? I don't know. Well, right now they're not. But I feel like they might in the end. Alright, because I, cause I saw that, I'm recording a video right now, I'm probably going to put this in it, but I just saw it as I was doing my review, and I was just like, oh, snap. Yeah. When are those just supposed to release, do you know? Like, May something, like, 26, they're not supposed to drop until, like, later in May. 
Snap. So you might want to grab those and just flip them fast. Yeah, I know. Yeah, grab those and then let me know what's up. Alright, well. Alright, later. Alright, later. As you can see, sneakers are a hustle, man. They're, hey, it ain't nothing easy. As soon as you see that, boom. I will also be reviewing this shoe right here, the Jewel Air Force One in the pastel pink colorway. And I also will be dropping another video, not in the same day, but another video in the future on how to get shoes after they're sold out. I will show you my tips and techniques on how to do it, and I can pass them on to you to where y'all can get your sneaker game collection up. This has been your boy, ShoeHe15. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends, your mama, your daddy, your uncle T. Tell everyone. Make sure you turn your post notifications on. Enjoy this B-roll, the Copper One phone posit. I'm out. Peace.